Thanks for tuning into the channel. Once again, it's been a rotten 24 hours here. It's been raining continuous, so even though you were able to take the bikes out today on a uh, bit of a social type run, mainly by yourself, uh, that didn't eventuate because of the wet weather, so that was a write off. I was going to give you, hopefully, uh, what which I thought would have been a good news of I was planning on uh, bringing a 500 or a classic 500 trials version to the channel. That's a new green and chrome type silvery looking bike. That in the last 24 hours there's been drama in different areas and I've decided now to cancel that bike so that bike will not be coming to the channel. So, uh, which is a bit of a pity because I like the classic 500s but I can't, just can't see myself going into riding one of those now so that idea's been shot out the wall or the window. So in exchange now I'm thinking uh, if I'm going to have a crack at another bike to run along with this interceptor I might I've been thinking maybe a choice I might go for another Honda CB500X I had the 2018 and 19 models and the 2019 model was a pretty good bike I buy the 2020 it's virtually the same bike but like I said it was not a bad bike so that'd be bike number one to think about bike number two is a KDM 390 Adventure that's a new release in Australia it's been out roughly a month I've had me eye on that bike now for roughly a month and really couldn't decide between it and the Classic 500 that's which one to buy so uh, at this stage it was down to the 500 which has been cancelled like I said now and uh, it's out of the question so it's back to the Honda CB500X or the KDM 390 Adventure the best thing about either one of those bikes I don't have to travel far to get it it's just a matter of make up my mind if I go that way and go and pick one up and it's here with this interceptor and that's the idea at the moment and meanwhile I put, a, I put a little clip together from the sub that was just wondering what the short fly scream or what a fly scream was like without the um, holding plate at the front of it just to see how it looked on the bike so I did that on the interceptor too so I hope uh, something for you to look at and uh, we'll see what happens further down the track and at this stage under that $10,000 Australian bracket I can't think of much more in bikes to um, buy I don't want to really spend any more than that if I want to spend any more than that well the only choice really is to get rid of the interceptor cash it for a good price to someone and then upgrade to maybe a um, just jump up into a something in the Triumph range maybe a uh, I think it's a street twin because I had the scrambler so maybe into a street twin or I don't know, go into a Harley or something like that. This stage, I just want something that could fill that gap what I had planned on buying the other bike. So it could be the Honda or the KDM, and we'll just see what happens. And hopefully, this will fill in a bit of space while I um, can get a bit better weather and put this six month re six month owner's review together on the um, 650 interceptor little bit of a clip there with the uh, short fly screen on this bike so we got the mini fly screen off now if I could get this back on I just use some sort of a nylon washer system that's how it would look without the base support so what I've got to do is find some sort of washers to fit in place and just see how she looks I couldn't actually find the um, stainless steel or some other type of washer to put on this but here's a rough idea how it looks without the steel base plate at the front and I suppose you'd have to agree it does possibly look better so it's still pretty firm so I think it doesn't look too bad I'll go back and get the plate and we'll put over it 
that you look at it that way and bring it the wrong way so if you come up and put the plate on it like so back here take the plate away possibly it looks better what do you think have a look at this bike with the uh, bar and mirrors on it I reckon it looks pretty smart it's sort of the first I was sort of unsure but after I walk out here a couple of times and look at it you know I think they um, grow on you after a while it's not as if I've been a big fan of bar and mirrors it's not a thing I'll run out and put straight away on the bike and just think oh I got out of them on a the bike they're things that in reality don't appeal to me that much but uh, you know that's the way it goes but I think overall they're not bad looking and uh, they suit the bike well just like that little bit of a mod to the fly screen by removing the front support panel so we'll see what happens and once again we'll catch you on the next clip and if you like the video you can give it a thumbs up and we'll see how we can what we can put together for you next time once again thanks for tuning in take a look and we'll catch you later